Excellent weather here as we finished our first week. Nate and I are sitting on the balcony, having just arrived back in Bridgetown, Barbados, the port from which we started the cruise. As we arrived last week, the sun was setting. There was no time to explore. Now, a week later, we arrive as the sun is emerging. And it's certainly one of those great-to-be-alive moments. We have had the first week here. We are back in Bridgetown, Barbados. It's beautiful sunshine. We've had a great week. About to have breakfast. Sure you got plenty of suntan lotion on. Don't go home looking like a lobster. We had breakfast and then rode the port bus to the port entrance. And after a look around, we then took another bus into the city. Barbados is an island country in the Lesser Antilles of the West Indies. It's the most easterly of the Caribbean islands. It's technically an Atlantic island. Bridgetown is the capital and largest city. The Spanish took possession of Barbados in the late 15th century the Portuguese then ruled the island from 1532 to 1536, but abandoned it in 1620. An English ship, the Olive Blossom, arrived in Barbados in 1625, and in 1627 the first permanent settlers arrived from England. It gained independence in 1966, and on the 30th of November 2021, Barbados became a republic within the British Commonwealth. The name Barbados, in both Portuguese and Spanish, means the bearded ones. And so Nate and I felt at home here. Just arrived in Barbados and uh, beautiful sunshine and great clouds today. We are right next to the bridge, the very place where in past times slaves were landed a plaque erected as a memorial. Surprisingly, it's one of the most densely populated places on Earth. 627 people per square kilometer. The first impressions were of a clean, attractive city. The nearer we got to the ocean, the more beautiful it became. Early indigenous Amerindian people were drawn to Bridgetown's Carinage River with its natural harbor. The settlers named the town Indian Bridge after the first wooden bridge that crossed the river. And later the town became Bridgetown. Our first stroll down the banks of the river toward the National Hero Square and the Parliament Building proudly flying the national flag. The walk was very enjoyable, the centre of town beautiful,
the pretty marina. And at the end of the bridge, the Independence Arch. So this is the bridge after which Bridgetown is named, the modern version. When Nate and I were talking after the cruise, I commented that I felt Barbados was the prettiest place we visited. It was a beautiful day, but also it's a very scenic and photogenic town, full of history and relics of the past whilst at the same time being clearly Caribbean. The date palms brought here in the 15th century from North Africa by the Europeans. When I saw the statue, I expected it would be a statue of Sir Gary Sobers, but indeed, it was honoring Errol Walton Barrow, the father of independence. It's a beautiful little harbour here. The weather is amazing. Just so clear, blue skies. Very photogenic today. We then got a snack and a drink. I couldn't resist getting a shot of the money that honoured Sir Frank Morrow, one of the West Indies' greatest cricketers. After that, we strolled over to the beach. We'd heard it was a great place. 